1959. I'm the president of the politics club at St. Joseph's College. And I invite both mayoral candidates to come to St. Joe's and speak. Dilworth comes and goes, and Stassen is about to come. And my father's home, and um, I go into his room, and he's sitting in there, and, and he says to me, uh, I understand Stassen's coming out there this week. And I said, yes. And he said, um, I want you to attack him. I said, Dad, I invited him. I'm his host. I can't do that. And we had this back and forth about that. Not, not a shouting contest, but, a, but a, a, a dialogue about it. And I just said to him, I can't do that. It's, it's not right. And as I'm walking out of his room, he says to me, you know, Bill, no one will ever blame a father for defending it. Never bl no one will ever blame a son for defending his father. And I went back into my room, which was next to his, and I thought, oh, man, that's a heavy load. <laughs> so I walked back into his room, and I said, all right, I'll do whatever you want me to do, but I have to resign as president of the club, and I'll have to do it from the audience. And he said, are you sure you'll get recognized if you're in the audience? <laughs> and I said, I'll get recognized. <laughs> And so when Stassen came, I didn't introduce him. I was not his host. I was in the audience. And I was basically able, on my father's behalf, to confront him and challenge something he had said about my dad, which was clearly false. And the headline the next morning in the Philadelphia Inquirer read, Stassen dodges nepotism challenge by Green Sun. <laughs> 